Do you know if a makalu tikki burger increases blood sugar levels by a lot? Let's find out. Today I'm having the most popular burger at McDonald's, the makalu tikki burger along with one sachet of ketchup. In total, this is around 350 calories. Let's hope for the best. This is possibly the most comforting burger at McDonald's because it's basically bread aloo bread. What's better in life? Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 31 mg increase. That's actually not too bad. This in fact is lower than both the chicken burgers, believe it or not, because the McSpicy chicken burger had given me a 38 mg increase and the McChicken had given me a 42 mg increase. This is 25% lower. And if you see, it took just 2 hours for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal, which is the lowest in the series so far. This tells me that the glycemic load of this burger itself was much lesser. And this does make sense because the Makalu Tikki is a smaller burger with the least amount of calories. This is why I should take the spike with a pinch of salt because normally I would have had 2. It's such a small burger. And that could have increased the spike to 54 mg like when I had 2 Vada Pau's. Now 54 is a lot. 